In this tutorial, we'll take on the role of workbook authors to learn how to use predefined parameters in Oracle Fusion Data Intelligence, or FDI. FDI pre-built content often includes predefined parameters. These are useful for typical parameter use cases because it applies the correct period structure in the latest fiscal year as initial filters for the dashboard. Let's explore an example. I'll open my ready-to-use profit and loss dashboard that reflects my general ledger data and select the edit icon. I'll select the parameters tab, and on the parameters tab there are two predefined parameters in addition to the five system parameters. Fiscal calendar and fiscal year are delivered in this pre-built content. Unlike the system parameters, I can modify these. I'll right-click fiscal calendar and select edit parameter. I find the data type is text and available values is set to any. This means dashboard users can select any text value. However, the initial value is set by a logical SQL query. It dynamically fetches the first available fiscal calendar name in the financial GL profitability subject area, ensuring that the parameter reflects the latest data. I'll add a description that will display on the tooltip when users hover over the parameter and select OK. Now, when I hover over the fiscal calendar, the tooltip shows the description and current value, which is ANZ calendar. Since this dashboard filter exists, the parameter is tied to the filter used to control the dashboard data. I want the accounting month and year calendar, so I will select it from the filter. When I right-click the fiscal year parameter, I notice that this time the data type is an integer and allow multi-select is enabled. Like the fiscal calendar parameter, the available values option is set to any and uses the same subject area. A significant difference is the logical SQL query for the initial value is more complex. The query will only return the list of years when a valid accounting calendar is selected. This is because the fiscal calendar parameter is being referenced here. I'll click cancel and select the fiscal year filter control. Since multi-select was enabled, I can select add and remove one or more years from the filter. I'll select 2024. The number of predefined parameters vary depending on the pre-built content. For example, the usage tracking analysis dashboard in the catalog has over 40 custom parameters. Find additional videos in this series and more resources on using Fusion Data Intelligence in the links below.